if you've used machine at all up until this point, and you've used machine version one, for example, then you'll know that to adjust the levels of individual groups and sounds was maybe not as easy as it is to do in your tour. That's putting it lightly. It's been a little bit of a workaround, really, to quickly adjust levels. Um, and that's the best way to describe it, because what you had to do is you'd have to adjust, you know, have to select the output area. And this is very slightly different in version two, by the way, but this is more or less the way you would work. You would select the sound, you would select the output area, you would select a pad, and then you could either adjust the level on the hardware, or you could adjust the level here on the software per sound. So, you know, it was quite easy to, to home in and adjust the level. And you could also adjust the level with these really small little knobs down here, and the pan is just next to it. So it was doable, um, and you did get used to it. But to be fair, that's what it was. You had to get used to it. And it, what we really wanted, what everybody really wanted, and it was all over the internet, was um, a mixer, you know. And finally, Native have introduced a mixer in version 2, and... It's just such a welcome change, so I think you're going to love it. And if we just click into this little mixer icon here, straight away you can see the mixer. And this is the group view, so if I just play this back, you can see all the groups firing off there. And look how easy it is to adjust the level of something. So if we think that's too loud, adjusted done and the, the beautiful thing about a mixer and you know i don't really have to explain it is that you get to see relative levels and you get to see the mix as an overall picture as, as a big picture as opposed to adjusting things individually which is you know never never great we can you know mute things just like you can in um, any other mixer and the great thing is that we can um, we can access individual sounds, but we'll look at all this later. We'll look at exactly, you know, the ins and outs of how it works uh, in the in the coming videos. But also on the hardware, and one confusion is that it doesn't sync. So you can see that on the hardware we're still in the group area, sorry, the sound and output area that we were. But if I hit mixer, we're going to get the same view as we can have on the software. That doesn't sync. So if you hit the mixer icon on the software, you're not going to automatically see it on the hardware. Not quite sure why it does that, but you know, um, if if I click the mixer off again, it stays on the on the hardware. I mean, I suppose it's a good thing because you know maybe you can do something on the software and mix on the hardware, vice versa. You know, you don't necessarily have to be. Uh, have to be doing the same thing but it would be nice maybe to have that sync as an option i'd quite like to see it sync but uh there you go mixing on the hardware mixing on the software really really easy so big thank you to native for that one um but let's have a look at the, the details and let's get into you know mixing sounds and mixing groups and routing and and everything else that it's capable of and uh, that's what we're going to look at in the next videos <laughs>